Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So they have given one function to us. We have to find residue of this function at z is equal to zero. But see the different part in this example is we have to use idea of power series multiplication. See in previous video, we have seen how to use idea of power series division to find the Lorentz series expansion and how to find residue. Okay. This time we have to use power series multiplication. So let me write the given function first. What we have? The function is f of z is equal to hyperbolic sine z upon z raised to 4 1 minus z square, right? So clearly z is equal to 0. You can see if I put z is equal to 0, denominator will be 0. So clearly z is equal to 0 is a singular point. Okay, so the point where the function is not analytic or the point where the for denominator is 0. So it gives the denominator 0. So that's why directly I can declare it is a singular point. So now the next task is to use this concept power series multiplication and we have to find Lorentz series expansion which will give us the residue, right? So f of z I am expressing in this way 1 upon z raised to 4 into hyperbolic sin z into 1 upon 1 minus z square. Actually the same function I have written but I have written in this form. 1 upon z raised to 4 I have taken outside its okay I will not uh, discuss anything of it. Hyperbolic sin z we have its standard Lorentz series expansion so we can write it. 1 upon 1 minus z, z square. Okay, so we will find its series and then we take the product of these two series. So we'll get the required Lorentz series expansion, right? So this is equal to 1 upon z raised to 4. Do you know uh, series of hyperbolic sine z? It is z plus z cube by 3 factorial plus z raised to 5 by 5 factorial. So this is very standard series hyperbolic sin z. Okay, so let us talk about it. What, what can we do here? See, do you know there is one series for 1 upon 1 minus z, which is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube plus and so on. Okay, so we are familiar with this series. The difference is at a place of z, we have z square. This is the only difference. So I will use this series to find this one. 1 plus at a place of z what we have z square z square square z raised to 4 plus and so on okay so this is the first series we have this is the second series we have and we have a multiplication between them so let us use the concept of power series multiplication to find a product okay so this is equal to 1 upon z raised to 4 so maybe some of you will get confused since both series have infinite terms. So how to take the product? Okay. So the funda is first we do 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That means what? First term of first bracket into first term of second bracket. Then 1, 2, 2, 1. Next 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. Like that. In this way, we do the multiplication. So 1, 1. That means first term into first term. Z into 1, you will get Z. Next, 1, 2, that means first term into second term. So, z into z square, z cube, plus 2, 1, 2, 1, that means second term into first term. So, z cube into 1, z cube upon 3 factorial means 6, right, plus 1, 3, first term into third term. So, it will be z raised to 5, 2, 2, second term into second term z cube into z square z raised to 5 1 into 3 factorial means 6 plus 3 1 third term into okay this thing we have already for so third term into first term okay so 1 into anything you will get same z raised to 5 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which will be 120 okay so see let me remove this part and let us use this space to solve the remaining part of this problem. Okay. Hmm. So what can we do now? 
this is equal to 1 upon z raised to 4, right? z, see these two terms having the same term z cube. So, we can take z cube common or you can simply cross multiply. 6 into z cube plus z cube that means 7 z cube by 6. So, here z raised to 5, z raised to 5, z raised to 5. There will be three terms of z raised to 5. So, you can take z raised to 5 common and you can add their coefficients. 1 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 20. Simply we need to add. Let us see. Uh, I will maintain the same denominator 120. So, 120 upon 120. Here I will multiply numerator denominator by 20. So, 20 upon 120. 120. On calculator, you can easily do it. Huh? So, it will be 141 upon 120. I got it. So, let us write this is 141 upon 120 z raised to 5. So, I got it. Let me remove this part. This is this was the rough calculation. Now, we have to solve the bracket. That means I will multiply each term by this z raised to 1 by z raised to 4. So, z upon z raised to 4 plus 7 z cube upon 6 z raised to 4 plus 141 z raised to 5 upon 120 z raised to 4 plus and so on. So, let us cancel out the terms z z cancel 1 by z cube z cube z cube cancel 7 by 6 by z plus Z raised, z raised to 4, z raised to 4 cancel, so 120 and so on. So, this is required Lorentz series expansion. You can say this is the analytic part since z appears at numerator. This is the principal part since z appears at denominator. So, the principal part having only two terms that means definitely it is a pole and its power is 3. So, it is a pole of order 3. But see, in this example, we are not interested in type of singularity we are more interested in residue getting so we have to calculate residue let me write here residue of f of z at z is equal to 0 actually if you have a pole we have a very simple formula to calculate residue but see we have already got a Lorentz series expansion so that's why i will follow the definition of residue definition of residue says Residue is nothing but B1 that means coefficient of 1 upon Z minus Z0, right, in a Lorentz series expansion. Z0 is 0. So, if I put 0, you will get simply 1 by Z. That means for this example, residue is nothing but coefficient of 1 by Z. What is it? Coefficient of 1 by Z? It's 7 by 6. So, this is required answer. This is required residue, okay. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.